I'm Leela Feinstein live at LAX where TSA agents are stationed to help keep illegal items from getting onto airplanes. But it turns out some of those TSA agents right here at LAX were actually helping sneak them on. I'll have all the details in a live report. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. We begin here at 6.30 with new details on the arrests of two current and two former TSA employees. The screeners are accused of allowing large shipments of narcotics to pass through security at LAX. Leela Feinstein with us tonight from LAX with the latest on the investigation. Leela? Well, Micah, you know, many of us are used to the invasive pat-downs by TSA agents and then having all our belongings scrutinized and x-rayed. But you know what? It turns out some of those very same TSA agents right here at LAX were actually making some money on the side by letting drug couriers get their e illegal drugs right through security. Two former and two current TSA agents have been arrested for allowing large amounts of cocaine, methamphetamine, and marijuana to pass through x-ray machines at security checkpoints here at LAX in exchange for cash. Oh, I think it's really bad because, um, you know, you can if you smuggle drugs, I mean, you can smuggle other things like, you know, explosives. Among those arrested and charged are 25-year-old Kaplan McKinney of L.A., 27-year-old Joy White of Compton, 30-year-old Neral Richardson of Los Angeles, and 23-year-old John Whitfield of Los Angeles. Also, two alleged drug couriers have been arrested, and a third, 28-year-old Terry Cunningham, is still on the loose. A TSA spokesperson today says, quote, TSA has cooperated fully with the investigation and will continue to do so. The employees involved are no longer performing screening duties. It's ridiculous. That's, TSA is there to prevent that, not to have it happen. Authorities became aware of the smuggling scheme last February when a suspected drug courier went to the wrong terminal and another TSA screener found a large quantity of cocaine. Federal agents then set up a sting operation and caught the TSA agents in the act. Jacob Kagan says he's actually not surprised. It goes down in history, doesn't it? This stuff's been happening for like hundreds of years. Why is it going to stop now? The street value of the large quantities of drugs allowed to pass through LAX is likely quite high. But these TSA agents risked it all for cash payments less than $2,500. This woman says it shows how desperate some people can be. It's actually very sad because the economy is really bad and people have no idea what they're going to do. They're scared and like they're, like all, they're, they're doing all these uh, weird things. Yeah, well, now these four TSA employees are facing federal drug trafficking and bribery charges. They each face a minimum of 10 years in federal prison. Reporting live at LAX, I'm Leela Feinstein, KTLA 5 News. Leela, thank you. Firefighter.